Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to share to you how I scan a CT aortogram rule out aortic dissection using a Canon Achillion Prime SP 160 slice CT scan. But first, we need to know what is aortic dissection. Aortic dissection happens when the inner layer of the aorta tears, letting blood in where it usually doesn't go. This causes the inner and middle layers to separate or dissect. If blood bursts, through the outer wall of your aorta, it's life-threatening and needs immediate repair. So watch the entire video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's begin by choosing the CT Dissecting Aorta Protocol. And these are the scan sequence that I've used. Dual Scanogram, Helical for the chest plane, SNV, Sure Start, and the CTA, GG Helical. Now let's start scanning the Dual Scanogram. After scanning the AP, the machine will scan another scangram which is the lateral. Next, let's use the tech assist lateral slide of this machine to move the patient into the middle of the gantry. After that, plan the next scan sequence which is the non-enhanced thoracic aorta just to detect an intramural hematoma. Next, place the SNV or scan and view just above the liver or at the level of the diaphragm. After that, plan the last sequence which is your contrast enhanced scan just cover the entire chest, abdomen, and pelvis. For the scan details, the KV is set to 120 and the MA is set to auto, while the rotation time is set to 0.35. After planning, press confirm and the machine will ask you to press the move button to change the table lateral position. And after that, you're good to go. First scan will be the non-enhanced thoracic aorta or plain chest. After scanning the first sequence, let's now scan the SNV so that we can plan our sure start for the bolus tracking. After scanning the SNV, place the ROI in the middle of the descending aorta. And for the sure start settings, I use a 180 Hounsfield unit, or you can also use 150 but don't go below that number. This will ensure a good contrast enhancement of the entire aorta. After setting the sure start, press confirm and wait for the machine to be ready for scanning. While waiting, let's now set up our power injector. These are the settings that I've used. On the A side, I use an 85 mils of Iomeron 400 contrast with a 4 mils per second flow rate. While on the B side, I use a 30 mils of saline with the same flow rate. Now let's inject the contrast and press the scan button at the same time. There is a 10 second delay before the machine starts scanning for the sure start. As soon as it reaches the 108 THU, it will automatically start scanning, so just wait for it to trigger. When finished, 
let's press the stop rotate button and quit exam before leaving. We can now check the images that we got. First is the non-enhanced thoracic aorta which is used to detect any intramural hematoma and calcification of the chest. Next image is the CTA aorta scan. Luckily, this patient doesn't have any aortic dissection, but still, we got a fantastic enhanced images of the whole aorta, which is a good one. Now, this is the most exciting part of the video, which is the 3D processing. Let's begin by loading the CTA images into the 3D application of the aorta. Next step will be removing all the bones. Just press the bone removal icon, which is located on the left side of the screen, and choose the bone removal general icon and wait for it to load. Now these pink colored images are all the bones that we want to delete. So just press dilate and delete so it will remove all the bones. It doesn't remove 100% all the bones so we can just uh, press the bone removal manual and see all the bones that are left. After seeding, just press dilate and delete. Keep repeating these uh, steps until you are satisfied and there are no bones left. After that, we can now press the save model button and go back to the 3D processing window. As you can see, there are still residual bones that are not removed. For this instance, we can use our cutting tools to remove parts that we think are useless. Keep doing this until you are satisfied with the result. Now guys, if you like this video, don't forget to press that like button below and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell so that you will be notified on the next coming videos. Now when you're done, just save model and go back to the original 3D image and click the bone transparency preset and save it 
so that we can merge it with our 3D images. Next, go to the keyframe movie icon so that we can save a movie clip for this 3D. Next, 